Hey guys, it's April 10th and it's supposed to warm up enough today that I may be able to get sparky outside. Um, but what I want to cover uh, on this video is um, that I do try, really, really try to get Sparky to eat his fruits and veggies, but he won't eat them. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to share with you some things that you can keep trying to get your turtle to eat, and maybe you'll get lucky if they're picky eaters. Now, what's in there right now is um, a cut-up ripe banana. They're supposed to like ripe bananas. So, on this plate, now this is way too much that anybody would normally give a turtle because they're really not, you know, you, you don't really need to give them a big bunch of stuff. Supposedly, um, you know, you just give them a little bit of tidbit of stuff and that may be part of my problem that's turned him into a picky eater because of maybe putting too much on his plate at one time and just letting him think that, uh, you know, by putting, say, a teaspoon uh, and then maybe that's a, a better choice than to try a whole bunch of different stuff. But the reason I've got all this different, different things on this saucer is these are some things that you can try with your turtle. Now, I haven't had any luck with Sparky, but um, we're out of the cantaloupe, we, and I didn't save any of it back for Sparky, but he won't eat that either. But, uh, you know, you just chop stuff up fine. This here is a, a golden um, ch a golden t uh, tomato, just a wee little uh, cherry tomato that's golden color. And I take and I freeze uh, the berries from the garden and I freeze extra grapes. So I've got grapes there. I've got black raspberries. I have um, red raspberries mixed in with the black raspberry there. And I have some red pepper. And this here is a, a cherry tomato that I, uh, I'm thawing it. It's just, it's just cold right now. It's just pretty well, just about. And you want stuff, you know, near room temperature, not too cold. Sparky has looked at it. But that's about as far as he's going to go. And he might set on it a little later. I have a small collard green leaf and a um, dinosaur kale leaf from the greenhouse. And I normally do a fine grading on this for the carrots, organic carrots. But I got this uh, zester out. And the zester makes it more um, finely chopped and kind of more similar to what um, the yam is. So there is some yam, baked yam, Sparky won't eat, a microwave yam. Uh, and there is a piece of organic chicken. So these are the two things that I can get him to eat a good bit of the time. Uh, so. I'm going to chop these up fine, give him a little bit of carrot, and he's got his fruit out there. Here's the theory. Um, if you take and you put their favorite foods, mostly favorite foods, and then just put a little bit of the stuff that they don't like and keep on um, changing the ratio to more greens, um, less yams and carrots, for instance, and that sort of thing. I have tried uh, all different ways with Sparky, but Sparky has a tremendously powerful nose. And um, if he takes one little bite of something, even a tiny little bite of greens that's mixed in with his yam, he'll stop eating. And he just simply won't eat anymore. And a, a lot of times he'll do that. And then what happens is, you know, when they keep doing that over and over again, then you get so afraid that they'll even stop eating their favorite foods. You know, so I, I really basically, I have not handled this right. I know that I need to show him tough love, show the way it should be, and just let him, you know, 
tough it out. But I just seem to not, I seem to always fall prey to the way he wants things done. And he really wants the live foods. So, here goes. One spark. See, he won't eat. He won't eat that chicken. Now I realize I have just too much fruit there. And he hates fruit. So, you know, that, that's one thing that I'm doing wrong, I realize. But if he gets one little bite of fruit, it doesn't matter if it's just tiny. But see, I put a whole lot here so that you can see what you can feed your turtle. But really, they say only, you know, they only need like a teaspoon, about the size of their head of food. Uh, so I, I know that I give Sparky too much. That's part of it. So I just don't do anything right, really. I, I just am not succeeding with the way things should be done. So. Now Sparky does like chicken, but see, he smells, he smells the, uh, the fruit. I doubt he eats anything at all since I have done what I've done today. Added the TNT and the turtle brittle. <clears throat> I just doubt very much that he's going to eat anything. So, But th this is just showing you what you can feed them if you can get them to eat it, basically. So, all you can do is you put the food before them and you just walk away and hope for the best. Right, Spark? Sometimes this will work. Another thing that may work is you just pick them up and you set them on their food. So that's step two. Another thing too, you can spray them and sometimes that will encourage them to eat.